this is Kevin for Pixelvert.com. In this video I want to look at some of the small but important changes made to the curves adjustment layer in Photoshop CS6. I'm going to bring up a curves adjustment for this photograph here. Now as you can see the photograph doesn't really have much in the way of any real color or contrast problems but if I use the new content aware auto command in the curves adjustment what you'll find is that it does suggest a change that I could make and what I can do is to come to the um, to the curves dialog here and just make a few adjustments to the suggested change and if I want to go a bit further I could go to the mask maybe choose color range and just go down to the skin tones hit OK and that just focuses the effect on the face so that uh, we've got an adjustment there that I wouldn't necessarily have thought of but which the new content aware auto command is capable of suggesting. Now, this is not how the curves adjustment auto button functioned in CS5. In the past, it was more suited really for dealing with this sort of image where you've got color and contrast issues. And we've got a quite significant warm color cast to this image. And there's also a lack of contrast. This, um, uh, the, the highlights aren't really coming through. Now, if I bring up a curves adjustment here, what we'll find is that if we use the new auto command it doesn't really fix anything so I'm gonna hit the auto option key and press the button and that brings up the dialog box that we can use to change the settings to either the new command which is at the bottom here or one of the older commands for this particular image I would need to use probably this one or the third command and these two give us good color and contrast correction. I'm going to choose the enhanced per channel contrast and if I wanted to use this as the default in future I could just choose save as defaults but I'm not going to do that and I'm going to hit OK and what I can now do looking at the image is possibly uh, the image has become a bit too cold I think the particularly the highlights in the model's face look as though they need a bit more warmth added to them and to do that I could just go in and uh, alter just alter the opacity of the adjustment layer but what I could also do with Photoshop CS6 is again go to the mask choose color range once again choose skin tones but this time click the invert button to invert the selection so that we're actually allowing the original colors to come through in the highlights hit OK and if I go to the mask properties I can actually reduce the density a fair amount and uh, maybe feather it just a little bit and there we've got very quickly pretty decent color correction and contrast correction inside of this image using the old auto command in Photoshop CS6. Now there are a couple of other differences between the new and the old command. This is the dialog for the old command and as you can see there we've got the white line representing the composite RGB. We can use that to darken the image or just to brighten it or to make minor refinements to the adjustment. But we've also got the individual red, green and blue channels and we can go in there and make adjustments to each of those individual channels. With the new content aware command we don't get the individual R, G and B channels. We do however get the composite and of course it's very easy indeed to make minor refinements to the adjustments suggested by Photoshop. So that's the best of the old and the best of the new in Photoshop CS6 in the curves adjustment layer. So I hope you find that video useful. If you did please leave a comment or rate the video and perhaps subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye.